students we have completed with the operating cycle problems that also connected to working capital chapter itself now another part of the working capital chapter is connected to calculation of working capital requirement how much money required as working capital for a business so this is another set of problems i have sent you the ppts in the ppts you have a pro forma very simple to understand whether you have a pro forma or not so current assets minus current liabilities will be called as net working capital and anything further if we have we have to add that contingency then it becomes working capital requirement so which are the items of current assets which are the items of current liabilities and the value for that will be found so that is what we are going to calculate here so we'll be starting with the problem here in the problem very clearly they have given prepare an estimate of working capital requirement from the following information for the trading concern so here you have the project uh, at annual sales so annual sales is given as 1 lakh units selling price is given as 8 rupees per unit percentage of net profit on sales is given as 25% average credit period allowed to customers is 8 weeks and allowed by suppliers is 4 weeks then average stock of holdings in terms of sales requirement is 12 weeks then they have also asked for allow 10% for contingency this is what the problem given as so if you look into this first we have information there in average credit period allowed to customers so allowed to customers is on credit sales on credit sales it is called as sundry debtors so what is the value of sundry debtors we have to check here if nothing is stated and if information available we have to calculate the debtors at cost so we don't know the cost of production here so we have some information indirectly given so we have to go for working notes so working note number 1 calculation of total sales in rupees so which we can easily find with number of units sold number of units sold multiplied with selling price per unit both information we have number of units sold is given as 1 lakh units and selling price per unit is given as 8 rupees per unit so if you multiply you are going to get a total sales in rupees as rupees 8 lakhs so rupees 8 lakhs is the total sales and we have one more information connected to profit so calculation of profit given in the problem percentage of net profit on sales is 25% which is given in the problem so we have the sales as 8 lakhs 8 lakhs into 25% it gives rupees 2 lakhs as profit for the business so sales minus profit will be cost of goods sold calculation of cost of goods sold cogs sales minus profit sales is 8 lakhs profit is 2 lakhs so cost of goods sold is rupees 6 lakhs why are we finding this rupees 6 lakhs rupees 6 lakhs is the cost as i told debtors to be calculated at cost because it is possible in the problem that cost can be found as 6 lakhs we are calculating on cost suppose we don't have a profit information then we can calculate the debtors on sales also that is on rupees 8 lakhs but here it is on cost so 6 lakhs is the cost please read the average credit period allowed to customers given as 8 so in a year 52 weeks are there 6 lakhs into 8 by 52 weeks in a year so that gives you 92308 rupees so this is the sundry debtors value 
the amount required for working capital. Then we have cost of uh, the goods sold that we have to take it as here, the stock of finished goods, stock of finished goods is also a current asset, so this is also based on cost of goods sold, 6 lakh rupees cost of goods sold, let us check in the problem given, average stock holding in terms of sales requirement, sales requirement is finished goods. So finished goods should be in the, in the stock for 12 months. So if you calculate this, you are going to get 1,38,462 rupees. So this is going to be the one which is important for you to understand stock of finished goods is connected to current asset. We have one more information given in the problem. Average credit period allowed by suppliers. Who are the suppliers who supply the goods? That is, the business will purchase from them on credit basis. They are giving four weeks time for the business. So that is going to be a current liability. Sundry creditors. So sundry creditors is calculated on again cost of goods sold. Assumption here. Assume that purchase is equal to cost of goods sold and entire purchase we are taking it as credit purchase again assume because nothing is specified so we are assuming entire purchase as credit purchase so cost of goods sold is again 6 lakh rupees and suppliers are giving to the business 4 weeks credit the amount comes to 46,154 so add current assets total 2,30,770 minus current liabilities 1,84,616 that gives you net working capital current assets minus current liabilities net working capital you are going to find then we are left with one more information in the problem given the last line allow 10% for contingencies contingencies means the expenses unexpected we don't know the situation when we require so 10% reserve for contingencies so 10% of the net working capital 1,84,616 into 10% that gives us 18,462 when you add it 2,30,078 so working capital requirement is 2,30,078 rupees so contingency to be added to net working capital all the problems may not have contingency then net working capital itself will be working capital requirement